your blessing is not in receiving, your blessing is in giving. Welcome to Dubai, Prophetess Lily Java. Thank you. We are more than honored and privileged to have you here on our show today. I am glad to be conducting this interview with you today. Yes, thank you. So I want to get to know you personally and for our audience to also be able <coughs> to know you and know your heart and get to know the vision of who you are. So I have a couple of questions prepared for today. Well, thank you so much for having me, uh, Mr. Ibrahim. It's an honor to be here in Dubai and to be able to have this opportunity with you and to be able to share what God has been doing in my life and what I have been experiencing. So it's an honor to be here as well. Thank oh, you so much. Prophet, is the pleasure is all mine. Amen. So I want to ask, what motivates you in life? What is your purpose and what drives you every morning to wake up? You know, um, I'm, ha I'm glad that you asked me that question. I think it's a very powerful question because every person has to, uh, has to have a purpose and a motivation to wake up every morning. If not, what is the purpose why we're waking up anyways, mm -hmm. you know? <clears throat> so I wake up every day because of the calling that's upon my life. I think um, my relationship with God and understanding who I am in Him and the vision that He has given me and where I'm going in life allows me to wake up every day with a positive mind because I know that today I'm not living for myself. I live beyond myself. I live for others. I live for the kingdom of God. I represent his, his kingdom. So that motivates me, that pushes me every single day to get up to work hard, to spend time with family, to spend time with my church family, to invest in people. And while I do that, I'm also investing in myself and building my character and purifying myself every day so that my vision when, when I say my vision, the vision God has given me is clear to me every single day so that I can um, fulfill the perfect will of God over my life. So that vision right there just motivates me and wakes me up every day with excitement because I know there is something so powerful and something so great to do and accomplish every day. Wow. Yes. So with uh, this vision as you are speaking, Yes. Particularly, what is your role in life with this vision? Oh, um, what is my role? Um, I do different things. You know, I'm, I wear many hats every single day. Uh, it could be uh, a, my, a mother hat. You know, I have two beautiful kids. I have a son. I have two sons. Um, they're very young, two and one. Um, so I play as a you know a role of a of a mother. Uh, also, I am um, pastoring a church with my husband, Prophet Passion Java. Um, he's a great leader, so I I submit under him, and we work hand to hand and be able to build Kingdom Embassy and Passion Java Ministry. And I'm also working on my own and what God has called me to do as a prophetess and as. Um, as a, just a motivational speaker and to be able to speak in people's life and motivate people to get closer to God and to uh, their dreams and, and, and so that they can follow the perfect will of God over their lives. So um, other than that, I focus on just uh, being able to write books and music. Um, I travel in different countries and visit different places. And I also do, uh, I have a Lily Java Foundation that focuses on um, orphans and widows. And we help um, these kids that don't have parents. So I'm starting that in Zimbabwe and South Africa and Ethiopia and being able to reach out and, and support. And I have a website actually, people are really supporting me so that I can uh, fulfill this vision God has given me. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's very powerful. Amen. Thank you uh, so much. I, I would want you to elaborate more on on Lily Java Foundation as you speak of. Yes. So Lily Java Foundation, um, uh, it's been about, I believe, three years 
since it's been active. Um, in those three years, I had two of my kids, so I couldn't, you know, go out and do as much. But now that they are at a perfect age for me to travel and, and, and get it moving, um, I am now, um, while I'm stationed in America, <clears throat> there are people that are stationed in, 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 like I said, South Africa and Zimbabwe and Ethiopia, where we send funds and different things there so that we help. Just recently in Zimbabwe, we um, gave books and, and pens and provided food for 4,000 kids. And, and when I see that and when I see ki you know, kids are being blessed, um, through this foundation, lives are being changed through this foundation. It transforms and it changed in my life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, uh, we are also helping widows that don't have any husband, any support from anybody. But yet, even these mothers have many kids that these kids are not going to school. They don't have anything to wear. They don't have food. So month to month, we are helping them cope up with life and not only giving them the finance or the food, but also grooming them spiritually, building them up spiritually and, and helping them so that they can now be able to stand on their own. So that is the vision of Lily Java Foundation. It's not just, hey, this is food, go ahead and just eat every day. But we have um, everything to be seasoned, you know, we have the food that we support them with. We have also give them a vision so that they can understand who they are and we, we give them spiritual food as well, you know, because we have Kingdom Embassy in, in different places in Africa. So we use that resource to be able to um, uh, expand the foundation there. That's yeah, and God has been so amazing. God has been wow. doing so much and um, and I haven't even pushed Lily Java Foundation. I have never, this is my first time actually I, talking speaking. about it, speaking about wow. it. And it's amazing how people are just, um, just on their own, just going to lilyjavafoundation.com and just uh, partnering with the vision because the vision is amazing, it's great. Um, there's nothing I benefit from it. it. Everything people give goes straight into these people and helps out the vision that God has put in my, my heart. So I'm excited for it and I'm excited to start this journey where I actually physically can be there and be, in, be able to interact with uh, these widows and um, orphans so that I can also share my heart with them and be able to connect with them. So I know people will be able to support that vision and wow. I know we're going somewhere far with it. Wow. So it's an exciting journey. You know, this is a, a very big uh, vision and mandate that's been placed on the life of you and Prophet. Amen. Yeah. And I, I want to know a little more as to why do you have this vision? Why has God put this on, on your heart as a burden to give back to people? Um, I believe that um, we are, it's, it's not just me. It's, this is for everyone. We are supposed to give. You know, mm. it's, a, it's a life of giving. You're not supposed to just receive, but your blessing is not in receiving. Your blessing is in giving. Wow. So when you give is when you, now God can start multiplying the things and starts blessing you with many things. Give and it shall be given unto you. So that is not just for me, but that, that is for everybody. But who's willing to take up on that call? Who's willing mm. to step forward to say, that is me. You already spoke the word, God. Now I can... Now go ahead and take the, that word and, and, and bring it into fulfillment. So what I did is just be able to accept that word that God already has released and to say, you know what, that's me. I know that I can help people. I know that I can spread the word. I know I can stand and make a difference. And it just takes one person to believe that in themselves. And know that God has called them and called all of us to make a difference. Mm. So when you have that type of mindset, then you get up every day to make a difference in this world. And you know that it's not about you. Yeah. It's about Him. It's about Jesus. It's about Christ that lives in us, you know? So there's no, I don't believe in any type of limitation in life because he's there to enable us to give us every type of power that we need. You know, every type of, 
even financially some people say well i don't have the money to do x y and z you don't need the money you need the vision when vision is there then god starts bringing people around you that can help you financially to be able to accomplish that vision but without a vision you're waiting for the money to come how can you bring money without you know a greater vision people follow a vision yes. when people see something then they come and they help you and they support you and take you somewhere yes uh, and they go somewhere with you so yeah god god is just amazing i tell you Amen. yes i also believe it is also a person's heart that supports the vision as well for sure and i yeah. can tell uh, you you have a big heart and and i want to know the other side of you as a mother and being a mother to not just your children but also in your ministry as well yes yes can you tell us more about being a mother well as for my physical kids <clears throat> i have my two beautiful kids with uh, lg and rafael they're two beautiful boys have a great calling upon them their lives and um I, god already have shown me so much of what they're going to do in the future so i'm so excited having two beautiful sharp boys and they're so amazing um being their mother means everything to me i'm learning every day um of how to uh to love someone other than myself again so you're learning to to love uh you're learning to take care of you're learning to care outside of yourself now because these kids are always going to be with me you know uh when you're younger you don't have anybody else to worry everybody's worried about you your family your parents are focused on you but now i'm grown enough to be able to have my own kids it's it's crazy that i have to not worry about and care for and every day they're on your mind and you work hard so that they can have a great future you know so it's an amazing journey that allows you to grow as a person you know it's not easy being a mother and being you know being able to work full time in ministry you know and and also uh, as you said being a mother <laughs> to many cuz so the demand is not just at home but everywhere else so <clears throat> for me and how i balance that uh is truly having a relationship with god because it's there needs to be a supernatural flow that comes from above because your cup needs to be constantly full with him and wisdom always has to be there so that i can be able to uh mother people that are around me people are always going through stuff you know so if i am empty then everybody around me is empty does that make sense? Yes. So I'm not able to cover the people the right way. But if God is constantly be pour, pouring every single day and what I need to do, he gives me the wisdom, he gives me the patience, he gives me the love to be able to nurture my kids, you know, my physical kids and my spiritual. So I'm telling you it's a journey, but I love it. I believe I'm called for it. I believe grace is available for me because he has called me. Uh without grace it's very hard to do because um it, it takes a lot from you. You know, people are always pulling, people always want to have answers. People are always are wanting something from you at the end of the day, you know? So if you don't understand your calling and who you are and being able to fill in again like I said Uh, spiritual food every single day then you're drained you know even not only with your spiritual kids you're drained at home so as a woman i believe i need to start taking care of myself every woman needs to be able as you know as a mother to to take care of herself and love herself know herself so that what she pours out to her kids it's just that positive energy that positive mm. love and care and being able to nurture these these beautiful beings god has given me in being able to be responsible over their lives right mm. so um that is the journey that wow. is the journey what a blessing it must be amen yes it is so as you were speaking you are uh, saying about your calling and that god has a uh, call yeah. you and I, w- I would like you to elaborate more about your calling. Sure, sure. Yeah, um when I was younger, um God woke me up in the middle of the night 
and he told me to read Jeremiah uh, 1 7. And at that time, I, I didn't know what Jeremiah 1 7 was. So when I opened it and read um, um, 1 7, and, 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 and it was talking about how um, Jeremiah was pretty much was chosen before he, you know, he was in his mother's womb, and that he has called him as a prophet, and that he was going to send him out, and so for him to be able to to prophesy, and I I couldn't understand it. Why did he make me read that verse? You know. So when I went back, and the Lord told me pray that night, I prayed four hours straight, and I and and and, and I finished my prayer, and the Lord spoke to me. That's who I have called you to be. So that's the first time now I was hearing I was called in the prophetic and and at this time uh, Mind you I was already seeing things and every day I'm seeing things in the spiritual realm And there was a lot of questions that I had and then after God opened my eyes is when he told me I have called you uh, To be a prophetess. I have called you in the prophetic so um, that's when my journey started and being able to understand and who I was and how the prophetic operates. And in that journey is when I met my husband, Prophet Passion Jawa, and he allowed me and groomed me and he's still grooming me and I'm growing every day and strengthening um, my relationship with God. I'm also strengthening my, my prophetic and being able to see deeper and more and, uh, and hearing God and, and seeing whatever god says to me coming to pass and it's just so amazing because again the prophetic people make it about themselves you know and 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 how powerful they are because they can see how powerful they are because they have this ability but it's not about you because you see these things it's about him that gives you that ability to see those things so at the end of the day it being able to to prophesy and having that office as a prophetess allows me to just glorify God because it allows me to see the power that he carries and that he has trusted us with this gift and 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 now we're able to operate in this in this gift so that we're able to help people every single day so i pray that people truly don't make it about them but make it about the one that has given the gift, which is the Holy Spirit. Wow. Yeah. Amen. Very powerful. Yeah. Amen. I want to give you any uh, moments or any words of encouragement you may have for the people if yes, you want to yes. speak to them now. Thank you so much. I pray that uh, people were encouraged and blessed by this interview. I thank you so much for having me here in Dubai. I am so blessed. Um, I pray that every woman, every man that is watching me right now and listening to this interview is being encouraged in their walk with God and being encouraged in, in, the, in every uh, role that you play in your life as a father, as a mother, as a minister, as a doctor, whatever, whatever role that you've been given, whatever hat that you wear, wear it good, wear it well and be encouraged and when allow God to give you that strength every day, that wisdom every day to be able to wear that role and wear your hat very well and to be able to walk in that role with Christ and not by yourself so I want people to be encouraged and to have a vision and to be able to uh, walk wake up every day excited because there's something new that God has for them and the journey that we're on is so exciting and is so amazing so people should never wa wake up angry or sad or depressed but should, people should wake up and knowing that hey I'm about to do something great because I'm not living for myself because I have a greater purpose and it's outside of me I live for God I live for the kingdom of God and I have been sent on earth for a mission and so that there that itself should encourage them because whenever you live outside of yourself you're excited you know you you have a mission you are living for something but whenever you're focused on yourself you're always focusing on what's lacking what's missing in your life you know so um i pray that they're encouraged by this message and i thank you so much for having me god bless you god bless you and um well thank you for yes for allowing us to conduct this interview, for giving us your time, Amen. and for also sharing wisdom with us and our viewers here today. Amen. Prophetess, again, we want to say thank you. Thank you and so much. And we are more than honored 
to have you here in Dubai. Thank you. May you be blessed and may you have a great day. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you.